Okay, so I'm on to my third codility test. It's a test on arrays, and the test is called Odd Occurrences in Array. Um, so I'm just going to make a class in Eclipse. Uh, I'm just going to keep these. Uh, Okay, so before I write the solution method, I'm going to see what it's all about. So it's another painless one, which is the codility way of saying easy. So I'm not too scared of this. 120 minutes. Um, that's been ridiculously generous so far, but hopefully it will be again. So a non-empty array of A consisting of N integers is given. The array contains an odd number of elements and each element of the array can be paired with another element that has the same value except for one element that's left unpaired okay so in, in this array we've got four nines two threes and a seven the elements zero and two have nine one and three have three four and six have four the element at index five has seven and is unpaired write a function given the array a of n returns the value of the unpaired element so we want that to return five uh, seven yeah um, index five value is seven so when it returns seven now this one is a bit more interesting because we want an efficient algorithm and n is an odd integer within the a range but each element of a is an integer in the range of one to one billion um, that's, it's an integer so that's fine all but one of the values in A occur an even number of times now this is a bit more interesting because I could just loop through pick the first number and then find the next number but then I'm going to have a sort of exponential um, the the time is going to be the square of the length of the array and the length of the array is between one and a million so um, we don't want to do this by in the in the most simplest method So what am I going to do? Uh, I could sort the array and then just go from the start and as soon as I don't see, as soon as the value, so start at zero and count up in twos, as soon as the value at our index plus one is not equal to our value at our index, then that's the value. Is that the most efficient way? Now the values are between one and a billion, but there's only a million numbers, so the maximum number of different numbers is going to be half a million. I can loop through the array once. and add some sort of tree map list. I think what I'm going to do, I'm not certain what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to make a start. So really, I just want to loop through this array once. And I think a tree map. I 
I'm going to do it with a basic list. With an array list. I'm going to get each value and if a list contains a I'm going to remove it else I'm going to add it now that's going to be efficient but the contains method worries me about how efficient that's going to be So what we're going to do is loop through the list. If the value is already in our list, we're going to remove it. If it isn't in our list, we're going to add it. And then at the end, we should have just one value left. And we can return a list get zero. Um, but what if we give it an empty array? Do they say anything? No, actually they have said that the array contains an odd number of elements we don't need to worry about an empty array i think that that is going to do it i'm going to paste this straight in and i'm going to run the basic test cases but before i submit i'm going to have a think about whether the contains method on array list is going to be um efficient. I also need to put the imports in. So I think this is going to pass the test but I think it's not going to score 100%. Now we've got a problem anyway. Um, range check. Okay so it failed on this. I'm not sure why it's failing. I thought that was easy. But it failed on that set so why did it fail um, well presumably it's gonna fail here as well I, Okay, so remove is working on the index. Um, instead of the, the thing itself. Okay, so it's an, I just need to say, remove the object rather than remove the element in the index. The problem there was if the number was five, I was trying to remove the item at index five rather than remove the five. Okay, so that's happy. I'm not going to bother debugging it in Eclipse. I'm just going to see if it works. So I think it's going to work, but I think, okay, so it works. So I'm going to look for a Java efficient um, list. Okay, so the contains method in hash set uses a hash map to look at the contains. So that's going to be fast. Um, I'm guessing an array list. Whereas array list iterates the entire array. So that's not good. So every time we say contains of array list, we're going to loop through every item in the list to see if that list equals what we're asking it to what it contains. So I want this to be a hash set, I think. 
this is why I'm practicing these because I want to do some of these tests and I I've not really been focusing on this sort of thing about what is uh, efficient and what is not efficient so because if code's running too slowly if I profile it and it's too slow I'll then find out why but a list hash set dot get zero doesn't work so I need to look I don't use hash set so I'm going to look at how hash set works let's say example add Remove an item, remove. I said doesn't get, how do we get the item at index zero out of hash set? I guess we don't do that. I guess because it's uh, using a hash map to look at the elements, um, we're not really looking at index of so uh, no it said in the instructions that the array will have an odd number of values in and one of those values will be the odd one out so i think i can take that to mean that i don't need to check whether uh, the array is empty i know that because of what it said in the instructions that a list is now only going to contain one value so i'm just going to return the first value out of the iterator of a list and i think that that is the solution that i'm going to go with i need to do the imports because they've changed i just need to import hash set Don't need a way list or list anymore. Run tests. That worked. I hope I'm going to submit this. I'm reasonably happy with it. It's only looping through. The important thing is really is that you loop through an array once rather than if you loop and then loop again through the array within that you're going to have a square the time of, of your solution to run is going to be the square of the length of the array and re when it says efficient in the um, question you don't want to do that you want to loop through the array once if possible of course um, and then this a list contains so this is the problem um, that would it would have been a problem with array list um, Okay, I think that that's going to work. I'm going to submit it and we'll see. Okay, I'm happy with that 100%. Uh, so it's passed all the tests and it's passed the performance tests as well. So thanks for watching.